Hello, Dull Bedsit Blogger here, and um, well, I had the Fiery Foods Festival way back in September, and I bought lots of sauces, and I got given a few sauces. And I thought oh, it's probably about time that I um, actually cracked into some of those sauces. And um, the first one that I'm going to do uh, is from a good chili head friend of mine called Adrian, who entered his sauce, uh, the Saucy Badger, into the uh, amateur chili sauce competition. And um, he won the best label, uh, which as you can see, nice and clean, nice and simple label there. Uh, it's got some very funny, funny bits on it. There's loads of jokes about this. Uh, things like uh, he's going to—he was talking about how he's going to make lots of different badger sauces, and uh, if you buy them all, you've got the set. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, and there's some good little badger facts on here. Uh, Sitting Bull was named a jumping badger at birth. Badgers are closely related to otters, stoats, weasels, polecats and pine martins. Badgers can scoff up to 200 worms a day. Badger cubs are normally born in February and possibly the most important fact that he's got in there Badgers are completely unaware of Brian May. The ingredients on the sauce, we've got a nice consistency there. And uh, this sauce contains habanero, buccalocchia, uh, maruga scorpion chilies, carrots, red peppers, white wine vinegar, fresh lime juice, onions, tomatoes, soft brown cane sugar, salt, garlic and spices. Um, so I'm expecting it to be a little bit um, on the warm side. So let's... It's got a good... Good smell. You can smell the, the tomatoes and the vinegar quite... Uh, it's got that uh, little chilli on there. Uh, you can see various chilli seeds in there as well. So let's uh, let's get on with the pouring. I'm gonna. I, last night I went to a gig and I'm a little tiny bit hungover. Not what you go hangover. Just a kind of like mm, yeah. You got a hangover, Carl. Um, and um, I thought, you know, it'd be good to have a nice sort of like, bit of a fry up breakfast. So I'm going to have this as the sauce of that. Uh, but I'm going to taste a bit first. Let's see. Ooh. There you go. Nice spoon full. And on the spoon, that really opens up the smell a lot more. And smell the onions, smell the, the peppers a lot more on there. So let's get on with the uh, munching. It's got really good texture. Um, it's not overly smooth. Smooth. Lovely little pulped bits in that in there. It's perhaps a little salty, but not not overly salty. Um, th I think the salt kind of brings out the tomatoiness well, and the heat is a nice. It, you know, it's not a a vicious slap you in the face kind of heat. It's um, it's a, a spiky heat, mainly on the tongue. And um, yeah, you know, you can really, you know, the, the tomatoes and the chili are working well together. They're having a, a little dance upon my tongue and my flavour. Mm, I might even go for a little bit more. Mm. The flavour at the beginning is just so. You get the you get the onions nicely and. The, 
it's a really well balanced sauce so there isn't one flavor which sort of like leaps out and goes ah, I'm here to get you it's really nicely balanced so uh, yes if Adrian was to start selling saucy badger you know what I think you'd make a culling. Yeah.